Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Hashtag TFR Motivation Monday Zoom. We are Dr. Dondi and Marcy Nettles. We are your presenters tonight. We've got some really exciting stuff. We're keeping with the basic business skills theme, and we're going to get into what it takes to build your business. So we're talking about in this week. So we've what have we gone over? We've gone over inviting, because if you're not having conversations, you're not building a business, what to do, get people involved. I got a new customer. What now? I've got a new consultant. What now? Well, what are we talking about this week? We're talking about setting proper expectations and the C word compliance, making sure that we are doing everything that is not putting us or our business or our company or the industry at risk by saying things that are non-compliant. We're going to get into specifics about that. But before we do, what is well, first of all, we're going to tell you where you can go and find the recordings yes. for the previous calls that we've done this year, um, helping you have all of the basics that you need to build your business. And that's on our YouTube channel. Go to Team Freedom Reigns on YouTube and YouTube. subscribe. Ring the bell so that you get notifications every time we upload new content, because we want to make sure that you know exactly where to go to get the tools that you need to build your business. So Team Freedom Reigns on YouTube. Yes. Now, remember, through the end of the month, your customers and your personally sponsored consultants and yourself if you have a um, subscription order that runs that is at least two hundred dollars or more you will be receiving a free omega in the month of february so that's just through the end of february so make sure that you are reaching out to your customers that have not had their subscription run um, plus consultants make sure that they know that they can get the free bottle of omega plus all by having two hundred dollars more of subscription run this month so good. And we have every Tuesday, the live momentum cadence. So it is week three. So we're going to be talking about the tech toolbox tomorrow. And that is 10 a.m. Mountain time. We're going to be talking with or Le Leslie or Lexi, like Lexi Ackley. Ackley from corporate is going to be talking about how to enroll using the LV app. So get on that training. Yeah, and if you're not part of the US Life Vantage Facebook page for consultants, this QR code, all you have to do is hover over it, join that group so that you also will be able to be on and watch it or go back and watch the recording. Yes, yes. So tomorrow and Thursday, and this may be the last week that we have these live presentations that are happening. Um, these presentations have been going on for well over 90 days now. Tomorrow at 4 p.m., Pacific time. We have Kelly Lupsha. She's amazing. She's got a great story and she's a great presenter. Then 5 p.m. We've also got Fred Hodg Hodgkins, Hodgins, Hodgins, Hodgins. Um, doing his presentation. Then on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific is Angie and Lourdes Rosas, which is going to be a Spanish presentation. So this is a great tool to have in your toolbox when you come across people that speak Spanish. And then Ellen McE uh, McEwen is going to be doing the presentation at 5 p.m. on Thursday. Day. The Zoom information for these presentations, the ID numbers there and the password. So screenshot that and just know that these presentations are ones that you can be attending to learn how to present or make sure that you're also inviting to that because that's how you build your business is by inviting. Now, all of these presentations have been recorded and they have been uploaded to Activated Life YouTube channel. This QR code will take you to that so that you can bookmark it, subscribe there as well, because this is an amazing um, tool chest. It's, it's really a treasure chest yes, it is. of amazing presentations that you can pick and choose from to share with people. And it, they don't have to be live. This is when your prospects are available. You have these resources to be able to share with them. Now, Rise Era, this is the incentive that we have going on for 2024 by um, gathering tracks, whether it's enroll, retain, or advanced tracks. You can earn gifts. We actually got to submit what we wanted. We're getting a, a free 10 inch ring light that is portable. So we'll be able to use it anywhere we need it, including taking it with us. And so you get to choose what you want as a, a free gift. But in the month of February, because we're celebrating bringing other markets into the Evolve compensation plan. They are also giving weekly, basically you, you bring in those four accounts to be able to earn a track within a week time period. And the weeks are broken up um, that you see out here on the screen. You bring in four qualified enrollments in a week's time period. You get to earn an extra hundred dollar cash bonus. And they're also taking um, weekly top three enrollers and those top three enrollers 
get to earn 500 extra US dollar bonus. So that's pretty cool. Great uh, additional incentive to the Rise Era incentive that's going on for the rest of the year. Seriously. Now we've got Momentum Academy coming up in March. We we're only a month away. We're less than a month away um, for Momentum Academy. We're super excited to see all of you that will be uh, attending. You, you know, but going to events is so vitally important. It's where you build your belief. And we're going to talk yeah. more about the importance of events in like the next week or two on the on a TFR call. But going here, you are going to be building belief in yourself, building belief in this company, this profession, our product. Products. You're going to be getting the um, information and education that you need on all those areas to be able to have the belief you need in yourself to be able to share them and be successful. Plus, we're going to have Sarah Thomas there as our keynote speaker. Um, she busted the ceiling, right? She's the first female official in the NFL. She actually helped call the Super Bowl, not this year, but in past years. And so she knows what she's talking about, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something different to get something you've never had before. So make sure that you get registered. The QR code here will register you for that event. Uh, and we can't wait to see each and every one of you there because, you know, hugs are important and I'm yes. running on low. I need extra hugs, guys. <laughs> I need them. Plus, at these events, we always have the healthcare providers um, portion. There is it's going to be 8 to 9 a.m. Central Time uh, on a Saturday morning. So if you are a healthcare provider, make sure that you register now. They're trying to get a, an idea of how many people are going to be showing up so that they can best take care of everyone there. So please register if you're a healthcare provider and are planning to go to that event. Yes. Let's get into this week's training. So the business building basics series, like I said, we've been on that for quite some time. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about setting proper expectations and the C word compliance. And I want you to look at the, the road signs that you see there, the arrows and look at the directions. I did this specifically. So some people think that they obviously want to have success. Green is success. Green is the monetary value you get from being successful in network marketing. But there is a stigma. There is a misperception that expectations and, and setting proper expectations and having to deal with compliance are deterrents to success. And they are not but I put it this way specifically, they are actually assets to your success. When you can manage proper expectations and you can be compliant, you can always, always, always go in an upward trajectory so long as you're putting in daily effort. So again, we're gonna be talking about setting proper expectations and compliance. So let's talk about the first aspect of that. Where is the cursor? Here, let me yeah, just click here, there you go. And so setting proper expectations, we're gonna be talking about five facets of it. One. Let's talk about, and again, this is setting proper expect, expectations from the very beginning with your prospects, with your new customers, with your new consultants, with the people that are part of your team as you're stepping into a higher level of leadership and ongoing, if that is your prerogative and that is what your goals are. So number one, product benefits, setting the proper expectations by talking about the product benefits not as it relates to symptoms of a disease and how can our products help with this. I know a friend who has this disease, fill in the blank, can our products help with that? Let's never get into those types of conversations because they are already non-compliant. Let's only focus on number one, product benefits. Number two, what is the proper expectations for what does it take to be successful in this business, what it takes to build the business, what time, what kind of time consideration, what are the steps that I need to go through? What do, what am I getting involved in? Setting the proper expectations with your prospects and your early consultants is very important. Number three, how long does it take to build this business? Incredibly important. And unfortunately, one of the most overlooked or omitted outright facets of expectations. Most people don't know because it's not been taught to them. Really, really important, number three. Number four, the system of support and the role that your upline or your team of support, whatever you want to call them, what role do they play and what role do you play? If you are that new consultant or what role are you teaching your prospects that you play and you have an expectation that they are going to play when they are in your shoes? And then the real and the raw, raw numbers of network marketing. We got, we're going to be using a lot of Eric Worre information in this because in my opinion, 
He's probably the premier success coach in the profession of network marketing for probably the last decade. Now, there's other great ones out there, but I think Eric Worre is the one that's the most consistent. He's definitely the biggest. He has the biggest events and is, and is really, really helping this industry. So we're about those numbers, those real and raw numbers, we're, we're going to show you that all companies have the same numbers. There's nothing about this that's unique to Life Vantage, and there's nothing that that your experience, it's all the same, and I'll get into those numbers. And then this is what the likelihood of success is with the numbers. So let's get into this. So setting proper expectation, number one, product benefits. So each product has its own list of product benefits, its own label information, its own ingredients list, and its own FAQ. Every single product we have has all of those things. So focus on the benefits of the product. So if you don't want to sell people a product that provides benefits that they're not looking for, that's really the key here. The second bullet point, only discuss those benefits. So we get asked literally on a daily basis, I have a friend or I have an associate or I know somebody who has this disease. Can our products help? We get asked that all the time. And it's not the fault of the prospect. It is not the fault of the brand new consultant. It is not the fault of anybody, but it is with those questions exist because they exist, they, they exist, they exist. But we want to make them less and less and less and less common by only focusing on the product benefits and finding out from the prospect or the potential customer or the potential consultant who wants to utilize our products, what health benefits are you looking for? Once they've established that, then let's just compare our product line to those benefits and the ones that provide those benefits. That's the product you should be purchasing as a customer. Those are the products you should be consuming as a consultant as you're building your business and showing other people how to do it. So very, very important. So do not talk about, can my pro my person has this, whether from halitosis to dandruff to cancer, my, my prospect has this, can our products help with that? Do not get into asking those questions. And if you're already ask, asking those types of questions, please stop immediately. Well, and, but Dr. Dondi, why? Why are we not supposed to talk about how our amazing natural products do all these things that we know that they do? Why can't we talk about it? That is such a great question. And I'm so, so glad you asked. That. Yeah, It's almost like we rehearsed <laughs> this, which we didn't, but that's a great question. You're just a great leader. So because we have to one, ensure compliance. And so why is compliance so important? I'm going to get into it. I have a slide based on the regulators and why it is such a big, big deal. Because we want, if we don't, and this is the deal, if we are not compliant or we're doing things that are not compliant, we literally jeopardize our company's ability to work within this industry. We jeopardize our own individual consultant's role in this because we could be sued directly by the regulators. It's ha it happens all the time. And we can set people up for improper expectations. Again, we're talking about proper expectations. So we have to focus on the function of the body, how the body is functioning. And the product benefits are to improve bodily function, which is why we have to stay there. So now here's the reality of it. Do people have certain diseases? I'm not going to mention any because it doesn't matter. And then they start taking our products and then there's no longer any signs of those diseases. Yes, that's happened. I've seen it happen numerous times in my history, my 15 year history with this company. But what we are giving credit to is the product. We are not giving credit to the person's immune system and their body. So when our products help the human body work better, it does. And when it works better and the immune system is working more efficiently, we tend to see more wellness than we do illness. And that's the entire focus, but we're focusing on product benefits mm -hmm. and the function of the human body. And we do not want to mention diseases. We do not want to mention symptoms of diseases. We just want to talk about product benefits and improving the function and the health or the wellness status of that person specifically who's taking the product or choosing to take the product or looking at taking the product. Yeah. So one of the things that I like to say when somebody asks me, well, would this help me with this? It's like, I, I just say, you know, I don't know about that. Right. Or, you know, I really can't say that it does, but what I can tell you is that no matter what your body is being faced with, what circumstances your health is in, your body is going to react and be able to respond better when it is activated than when it's not. So your body's going to be able to respond and be able to perform and be able to do better under activation circumstances than if you weren't, 
right? So just that type of a, mm -hmm. a guidance and then making sure that you utilize the amazing replicated website that the company's put together for us that has all of those um, things, the tools that you mentioned there in the first bullet point. Right. And so what we get questions like, just, I'm just going to, you know, get a couple random ones from hangnails to Hashimoto's. <laughs> we get, we get questions asked and it's like, well, I don't know about that. Great way to answer that. However, I do know that if, if it's a specific product they're asking the question about with these product benefits, it doesn't matter whether they have a hangnail or not, or Hashimoto's or not, or whatever they're asking about or not, the body is just going to perform better. And that is our ultimate objective anyway. Yes. And then was, it? sorry. So the stay compliant was the last bullet point. Yeah, That's then the you already obvious. talked yes. about that. So, so here are some product benefit examples. So this right here is the product benefits. I, this is a snapshot from the ProBio page. The benefits provide 6 billion CFUs. And so this is interesting about ProBio because there's a lot of products out there, probiotic products that have much higher CFU. It's CFU stands for colony forming units. 6 billion may seem a lot, but there's some that have 50 billion or 150 billion. Why do they have so much? And why do people who understand probiotics look at, well, why does your have so less? Because ours has a capsule. It's a capsule with a coating on it that goes down into through the stomach, through the small intestine, down into the large intestine, and then the capsule opens up and releases all 6 billion of the CFUs. Whereas most probiotics, 95% plus, are mostly dissolved in the stomach, which is why they need so many more CFUs because the stomach acid neutralizes them. Or while it's in the small intestine, it comes apart and the, the environment, the bacteria and other things in the small intestine neutralize it. So that's just one example of a, of a product benefits. And that's just one example of something that we compare. So focus on the product benefits. Here's another example. This is obviously our true science liquid collagen helps maintain healthy skin, nails, and, and promotes a youthful appearance. So look at the product benefits. And if somebody wants those benefits, then this is just naturally a product they should purchase. Make it that simple. Yeah. I mean, if you can use just the bullet points, I mean, the second one there helps replenish, maintain, and activate collagen production to support skin elasticity and firmness. I mean, you, these points are, are just, they're gold. They're easy. Yeah. This one here is the Rise AM, specifically the Rise AM, not the combination, but the, again, product benefits. They've all got those bullet points there. When you're going over this with a, with a customer or a potential customer or a prospect as a consultant, look at the product benefits. If those are the benefits they're looking for, this is a product they should add to the cart. So number two, setting proper expectations. Number two, what does it take? Well, it takes following a system because systems never fail when they're done right. People fail systems and that's because they don't follow it. Again, follow the ITT system. We've talked about it at length, the invite tool team, follow that system over and over and over. That's the first bullet point, what it takes. Daily constant or consistent daily action, even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes a day is better than two hours once a week because there's no consistency to that. Again, it's the things you do on a small scale every day that ensure your business. And that's what it takes. Number three, follow the leaders, your leaders and their training and, and advice. So get on the training calls if they have them. Get on the promotions if they have them. Get on their opportunity presentations if they have them. Focus on following leaders and doing what they tell you. Number The fourth bullet point, prioritize attending events. Make sure, this is something I learned early on, never miss an event. Because life's change at events, decisions are made at events, certainty comes at events. Make sure you get to events and increase your skills, habits, and experience and your results. That's what events are for. Participate in all promotions and incentives. If you're going towards something, you've got an objective, you've got a goal and a reward at the end, reward yourself for those. And then last, give yourself grace. Mm, in other words, give yourself one. permission to be bad before you get good. And be good before you become great. That's just how this works. Nobody wakes up or nobody is born a successful network marketing professional. You have to earn your stripes. You have to learn the industry. And I'll talk specifically about that into how long does it take? Yeah, so, and I might add one more thing, one more bullet point. Yeah. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Yes, great. Um, because comparing yourself to someone else's success is the quickest way for you to cut your success in half. Um, because if you're watching someone else, 
you're not paying attention to what you really need to be doing and understanding that your journey is different than theirs. They may have been in this company a lot longer or have done other companies and have had success and they just know what they're doing, right? So don't compare yourself. Just make sure that you're following the system and you are being consistent in your actions and you will start to see the success that you desire. Mm -hmm. Great point on that. Thank you for catching that. So one of the things, kind of look at it this way. You know that every time, they're, every year they have, the Academy Awards, they have all these you know, movie awards. Think about every person who wins actress of the year or best actress, best actor, best supporting actress, best supporting actress, they all have blooper reels. But most people in network marketing, they look at other people's highlight reels and they compare them to their blooper reels. That's where the compare-itis thing is horrible. Don't ever do that. But every single person who ever won those trophies for best actor, they've got a long, 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 long list of blooper reels when they mess up their lines. It's the same thing in network marketing. Give yourself grace. Number three, how long it takes to be successful in network marketing. And there's a couple bullet points here. If you are giving your business you're giving your business consistent daily action and you're learning the seven skills of network marketing success again the gopro book by eric war you have it right here the pages are literally falling out i've read this so many times and you are following the itt system the, using the launch guide with your new people creating and utilizing your uh, your goals list and allowing your leaders to do the same and you accept embrace and you do not question the 1357 rule. Well, maybe you're wondering what is the 1357 rule? It is the golden rule of success in network marketing. Again, setting proper expectations. And this is right from Eric Worre. So the 1357 rule is as follows it takes one year for you to become profitable on some level. Some people send out 10 invites and they get 10 no's, and they say, this doesn't work. Hmm. Well, you need to give it a year. You need to learn the skills. You need to read this book. You need to refine your skills. You need to learn what disappointment looks like, feels like, smells like. It's all part of the game because nobody gets through to be successful as network marketing without getting a much higher proportion of no's than yeses. Now, do we want yeses all the time? Yes. Do we get them all the time? Never. So number one is the one year to be profitable on some level, meaning that your commissions that you're earning exceed your expenses, meaning the money you're spending on utilizing the products as well as attending events, including your airfare and hotel. It takes the average person who is putting in daily consistent action of at least 10 to 15 minutes. It takes a year to get to where for most people, to get to where you are profitable, meaning the commission you are making at your rank will absorb and give you profit at the end of all your expenses. That's number one. Number th three, so three, three years to go full time. If again, you're doing those things consistently, 10 to 15 minutes of const consistent daily action, you're attending events, you're doing these things that takes three years on average to go full time which means to the commissions that you're making meet or exceed your full-time employment. It takes three years for the average person. Five, five years to earn a high income, which is typically $100,000 a year or more. And then seven, seven years to become world-class, which means the equivalent of an executive or presidential rank in whatever company. These are the numbers. Every company is the 1357. This again is Eric Worre, and there's a great video on YouTube about this, but 1357 is the rule. So if you're two weeks in and you're not making profit, give it another 50 weeks. So you're uh, right now you're already outside expectations. This is super, super important for all new consultants to understand. So number four, the system of support. What does it look like? following all the steps in the training hub. So if you go to hub.lifeanage.com, you click on training and you go down into the onboarding process. You're going through day one with your consultants, week one, week two, week three, following all the systems. That right there is the system of support using the ITT, using the launch guide, using the 25 list of your prospects. That's what it is. And then follow ITT consistently. That right there is the system. And number five, 
the real and raw numbers, these are probably going to be eye-opening for you guys, or they're probably going to make you feel a lot better than you're probably feeling right now. So here are the numbers. And again, every single company in the industry of network marketing has these numbers right here. This is when Eric Worre was hired by LifeVantage to come train the executives or the we called them elites back then. At the elite retreat in Scottsdale, that's where these numbers come from. So look at this, the first bullet point, 70% of all consultants enrolled into a network marketing business will never enroll a single customer or consultant in their lifetime, seven out of 10. So if you've enrolled five and none of them have done anything, you're gonna enroll two more that don't do anything. They will never do anything. And this is a lifetime as if they leave our company, they go to another company and another company and another company. They're not gonna enroll a customer, a single customer or consultant in their lifetime of network marketing, no matter how many companies they're with. That's just the numbers. So pat yourself on the back. You're just following the system and you're getting the numbers as it relates to it. So 20% of all consultants will enroll one to two people in their lifetime. That's 90. If you look at between 70, 90% of people will only enroll one to two people ever. And then add another 5%. 5% will enroll three to five in their entire lifetime, no matter what company they're with. 3% will enroll six to nine. If you look, if you add that up, 98% of all consultants that will ever, that have ever, will ever enroll in a network marketing company will enroll less than 10 people in their lifetime. That is just, that is the realistic numbers and that should give you a breath of fresh air and make you relax a little bit and give yourself a little bit more mercy. But here's the deal, 2% will enroll 10 plus. And the average is 27, and those 2% create 70% of the global volume in the industry of network marketing. It is a very small percentage of people that do a lot of work that make this industry what it is. So it's not the, the person that you think, oh, they know everybody, they're gifted, they speak right, they've been successful in other things. That's probably not going to be someone in your 2%. It's just not. I've thought that so many times and I've never in 15 years enrolled somebody that met those criteria right out of the gates that fulfilled it, not even one. It's the people that surprise you, the people that see the potential, they didn't know it, they didn't have confidence in themselves in the beginning, and then they go run with it. Most people's leaders started out like that. So those are right there are the numbers. All companies are the same. You're no different. Your business is no different. Yeah. Pretty but, powerful. But what I want you to know is that just because these numbers are the way they are, you don't have to fall within any one of those positions. You can choose where you land because it really is a matter of being consistent and being able to do it over and over for a long enough period of time to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, most people quit before they get the success or the results that they want. And that's why they fall into either that 70% that never enrolls anybody, or even the 20% that will only enroll two, one to two in their lifetime. It's because they quit before they really gave themselves the opportunity to get good at what we do here. And that is helping people change their lives on a health aspect or on a finance aspect. Yeah. So and consistency. The, the, these are the numbers, but everything is in the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's all numbers. Mm -hmm. So whether it's the people that you personally sponsor as your consultants or the people that your consultants sponsor, getting with them and helping them build the list and helping them follow the ITT system, working with the people that are in your organization until the leaders present themselves. That's the game. It's all a numbers game. How many invitations can you get out in the soonest amount of possible? And how many people can you work with that are in your business before they leave? It's literally... That's the game. That's the secret. That's the game plan of network marketing success. Okay, let's go. So proper expectations on team support. What does that look like? And I'm going to refer to page 103 of the book, GoPro by Eric Worre. So what is the expectation for a new consultant or what should your expectation be with your new consultants? There's something called the game plan interview which I absolutely love. And it comes down to this. I'll summarize it. Your, so if you're talking to a new consultant who's in your business, this is what you should tell them. Your success in network marketing, if you achieve success, is going to be because of you, not because of me. If you fail in network marketing, it's going to be because you failed, not me. 
So here's the deal. The whole thing, and this is, he sums it up in one sentence. My job is to help you become independent from me as quickly as possible. Do you agree that that's a good goal? Because you, here's the reason why. You cannot have your consultant relying on you because if they do and they don't succeed, guess who they're going to blame? They're going to blame you. So if you come out right out of the gates, the expectation is we will give you support. That's the, that is our obligation to you. But if you are successful in this business, it's because of your actions. And if you fail in this business, it's because of your inactions. And I like to look at it this way. We will help you build your business. That's what many, many people miss is they say this, we will help you build your business. What people hear when they hear this is you're going to build my business for me. That's what most people want. Well, just enroll people, put them underneath me, and I'm just going to sit and wait for you to build my business. You're going to enroll people, put them under me, enroll people, put them under me, and then my business is going to get built. It never, ever, ever gets built that way. So here's the proper way of looking at this. We will help you build your business. You, or you build your business, we will help. And there's only seven skills. This book right here breaks it down so simple. And if you're not familiar with those skills, let me share them with you. Skill number one is finding prospects. Go like this. Just find somebody and do this. If you can feel a pulse, it means they've got a heartbeat. That's a pot, That's a prospect right there. Skill number two, inviting the prospects to see the information. You may not even know, just again, Marcy just showed you every Tuesday and Thursday for the last 90 day plus days, we've been having opportunity meetings twice a night. Invite them to that. You can easily do that. Send them a link, invite them. Skill number three, present your products and opportunity to your prospects. That's what that is. You're inviting them to the presentation of the products and the business opportunity. You get two and three out in one shot. Number four, skill number four, following up with your prospects. Skill number five, helping your prospects become customers or distributors. Skill number six, helping your new distributor or consultant get started right. And skill number seven, promoting to events. That's it. Those are the only seven skills. This is the simplest. It's not easy. It's the simplest business model I've ever seen because there's only seven skills. And it pays you CEO level in income when you do it right. So we will help you build your business. That's the expectation of support and team and how it works. So again, your goal should be to become independent from your upline support as quickly as possible. That is the Eric Worre principle. And then compliance. That We're talking now about the C word. So what is compliance? Compliance is the system of requirements, rules, standards, governance, regulations, transparency, policies, and law of running a network marketing business. And we need to look at those from a regulatory compliance perspective. So what does regulatory mean? In network marketing, there are regulatory bodies. There are some that are inside the profession, and I'll share that with you. It's the Direct Selling Association. And then Life Vantage specifically, we have three that are outside the profession that look at every single thing we do to make sure that we are compliant. But as far as compliance, this is something that we all must become. We all must become compliance officers. Now, there's no certification process for that, although you should go in and we're gonna show you how to go through this. But what does that mean? What is a compliance officer? You should make this a, a priority. It is a consultant and or a customer tasked with ensuring that their activity their social media posts, their conversations, their trainings, and their presentations are on behalf of the company that they comply with all regulatory requirements and internal policies and procedures. We have a policies and procedures manual. In fact, when you became a consultant and when your prospects become a consultant, they check off that they've read them. Most people should do that. They definitely need to read the policies and procedures so you know how significant the compliance part of it is because you don't want to be, you don't want to violate compliance. And if you do, you don't want to get pointed out. So it's best that you become compliant in the beginning, again, setting proper expectations. So what is the what are the who are the regulators? Well, the direct selling association. And companies that are direct selling association members should all be, make it their policies and procedures of their company to be compliant. 
as it relates to the outside regulators. Now, because we are publicly traded, I'm going to go from right to left. Because we are publicly traded, we also have to make sure that we are compliant with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This is talking about publicly traded companies that we are up, that we are abiding by the proper things, that we're not doing anything that's going to inflate the stock value, or say that our company's doing things that it's not, saying our products are doing something that it's not to inflate stock value. Be, uh, uh, falsely or inappropriately, that would be a violation of the SEC rules, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and we can get in trouble for that as a company. We definitely don't want to do that. But now Federal Trade Commission, that as it relates to the Federal Trade Commission is protecting us, making sure we are representing that they are focusing on the companies, making sure we are, we are conducting ourselves properly and we are talking about our business model and our product benefits and our product expectations appropriately. Now, the Food and Drug Administration the FDA, is that we're marketing our products, we're talking about our products, we're not making any claims that our products prevent, treat, cure, mitigate, or help with any diseases. We're only talking about function of the human body. Those are the outside regulators that are focusing on this industry with a fine tooth comb and with a magnifying glass. And they are notorious for sending warning letters. Mm -hmm. They are notorious for suing companies. They are notorious for shutting down companies. They are notorious for suing personal distributors or consultants of said companies. There's been so many examples of a Facebook post that the FDA sued. And there's been, I've seen millions and millions of dollars that they were sued. They sued a specific distributor or consultant for an inappropriate non-compliant post about product benefits. So again, we do not want to be in that situation and they don't just go after companies, they go after individual people too. And that's really, so we want to make sure that we are doing everything appropriately and following our policies and procedures as it relates to the FDA, the, the uh, FTC and the SEC, and most importantly, within our own industry, the Direct Selling Association. Yeah. So there's one thing that's important for you to know, too, about the FDA is they don't approve natural products. No. They just regulate them. Okay. So if you're someone that's like, well, I wish, why isn't it FDA approved? Well, it's because the FDA does not approve natural products. They do approve pharmaceuticals um, and, and the ones that are not natural, right? But what they do do is they keep an eye out to make sure that we aren't making claims that our natural product is acting like a pharmaceutical, Yes. right? So we have to keep ourselves clear on what we can and can't say. Um, and thankfully, you don't have to just remember it, right? Um, most of us have to have reminders. <laughs> and so you probably still have compliance questions and want to know what you should do about that. And because it would take us a really long time to go through all of the compliance stuff that the company has already provided for us, I'm going to stop our video here so that everybody can see where we're at. When you pull up your personal life vantage website, you are able to get your hands on video recordings and documents that you can download and print that will walk you through step by step what you can say about the products, what you can't say about the products, what you can say about the opportunity, what you can't say about the opportunity, specific words that you can't use because they are what the um regulatory agencies are searching for online. And because now a lot of people are doing business on social media, sometimes we see someone else make a post that is really uncompliant and we think, well, they're a leader, so it must be okay. No, no. you cannot rely on somebody else and what they're doing to say that something is right or not. So make sure that you are educating yourself. So when you pull up your personal life advantage website, over to the right here, you see where you can click and it's it's normally like a um, profile looking something or a login. You want to click there and it's going to give you this drop down, down towards the bottom underneath the my business portion. As long as you're logged in, if not, you'll need to log in. You'll see the option for the back office. So the back office, when you click on that, it's going to open up to this. I'm sure that each one of you has been into your back office, so this looks familiar to you. Up at the top, there's the, the options to choose and where you wanna go. You wanna select the library. So when you click on the library, 
it's going to open up to the very first thing is compliance. And when you scroll down, there are going to be coaching cards on what you can say and what you can't say. There's going to be, and that's for products and for the business opportunity. And then there's going to be video resources that you can watch. And they're not very long videos, but very clear and concise videos on what you can and can't say and everything that you need to be a compliance agent. Yes. Right. To be able to lock arms with the rest of us that want to make sure that this opportunity is around for the long haul, that these products are available and around for the long haul. So as locking together and becoming those um, compliance agents, you have everything that you need. Just go into your library in your back office and check out all of the resources that are there. Absolutely. Turn that back on there. And then, oh, that's, that's, that's it. it. All right, guys. So we hope that you learned a little bit more about how you can set proper expectations. Um, and I, and first I want to apologize as well for whatever happened with Zoom and some of you were not able to get on Zoom with us. Um, we're sorry about that. We will be uploading the recording to the YouTube channel. So Team Freedom Reigns, make sure you're subscribed. Um, but just know that if you click on the link that we put in the post, you should be able to come right into Zoom and join us here because we love having you guys on here with us live. And Dr. Pat, we're glad you're on here with us. Um, so guys, we love you. This is a really uh, important time and we have got such a responsibility when it comes to setting the proper expectations so that people have great success. You always want to, um, you want to over deliver, right? So you want to undersell and over deliver because the truth is enough, especially when we have what we have in our hands. Right. But thanks for being here with us tonight, guys. We love you. See you next week. <laughs> All right. Take care.